with unique out of this world choices. Is that not just a sausage? <laughs> and eggs? And what's like a waffle? So have you tried galactic food? You can now try these Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser dishes. I don't know. I don't really know much about this. I don't. I'm assuming it's a Disney. It is. Okay. Um, sure, you'll need to pack your appetite for your voyage aboard the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, but you may want to make sure it's an adventurous appetite. Word. Okay. Like any luxury experience, there won't be a lack of food aboard the Halcyon. 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 The name of the ship. However, the edible offerings of Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser at Walt Disney World will be unique, out of this world choices. I actually kind of want to see a little bit about what this is. Uh, the Galactic Star Cruiser. Um. Guests can build Alcyon stay the way they want, totally throw themselves into a character and role playing, learning these weapon system on the bridge, run the resistance, watching out for stormtroopers. Okay. There's a s emergencies moving around. So you just do you stay in the ship? I don't care about the lingo. Oh you do? Wait, that's sick. The standard rooms aren't big enough we can sleep. Aren't big, but can sleep four to five. There's a tunnel bed in the wall. There's a home planet TV, a window in the space. Oh, so it's it's like pretty big. That's sick. So it's like you're taking like. Are you? It's like taking a cruise, but not actually leaving. It's a two-night experience. Okay. That's tight. Okay. All right. Two day experience aboard a, a imaginary spaceship and centered in Star Wars. I now I, I kind of want to go. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. With unique out of this world choices. Is that not just a sausage? And eggs and what like a waffle that's just sausage egg waffle syrup that's not out of this world okay here are some things to get ready for the culinary experience of one of this two day two night vacation has been described as not a hotel but as an immersive trip comparable to a cruise okay oh i could have literally just read down this article a little farther for the information that i so desperately needed uh they serve two breakfasts two lunches wait what about dinner both meals are eaten in the main dining room, the crown of Corellia, and served in unique buffet style. What about dinner? Space sausage and galaxy waffle. What's up, JJ Swift? How you doing? I'm so... <laughs> Wait. But what is so out of this world that's just gonna really blow my I just I I I expected something more when they say out of this world choices. The <laughs> Yo, you're not wrong. Alright, let's see, hold on. What will we find? Oh wait, hold on, okay. Because I see this and then I see this. That's two different things. What are Breakfast, bento boxes, Star Wars, Galactic, Star Cruiser, Walt Disney World, and Resort. Okay, on day two of the trip. You won't find Mickey Waffles on the menu, but you'll find the Star Wars version of a waffle with the Star Cruiser logo on it. There's no assigned time for breakfast and lunch, as guests can go at their leisure. But what about dinner? Do they just not feed you dinner on this cruise, like this two-night thing? Day two of the trip, guests have the option of getting off the ship and visiting the planet... The vacation package includes a meal on Batu. If but if a guest decides to stay on the ship, they can enjoy the lunch in the dining room instead. Or for those who have worked up a big appetite, they can have one lunch on Batu and a second lunch on the ship. Yo. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need, yeah, I'm gonna need at least three. At least. That's like bare minimum. Wait, okay, well, they didn't mention dinner, but this is the dinner bento box. Yo, those are, are those, are those bow? Are those steam buns? Why is it green? Uh, <laughs> for sure having at least two lunches. The Crown of Corellia dining room will be transformed for dinner each night. Okay. The first night guests will enjoy a family style meal with options including a mento box with bao bun. Oh, I literally, if I just would read the articles before asking questions. Bao bun, spiralized vegetable salad, and four different dipping sauces. Among the other offerings are green infused rice and dish. And a dish crew members refer to as something those on another planet called chicken. I... I don't like that description. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? That sounds gross. Well, guests feast. Why? Well, guests feast. They are entertained by Gaia, a famous singer in the Star Wars world. The second night is described as an upscale dining experience and a wine dinner. With each course, the chef comes out and talks about the food and the planet that inspired that dish. That's sick, though. Like, imagine. Imagine getting like hired on to make Star Wars inspired food. I'm jealous. Man, how do I get hired? How do I get hired to do that? That's sick. Uh, chances are there will be a few children and maybe even adults. Well, I would <laughs> I would assume it would be one or the other. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I've seen the clips of the Gaia show and it does look neat. I haven't seen anything. I'll have to look it up. Uh, okay. Now, again, if I would just read, uh, adults aboard the ship, okay. Chances are there'll be a few children and maybe even adults aboard the ship who aren't about to eat bantha beef tenderloin, flora noodle salad, or iced Felician shrimp cocktail. No worries, uh, oh boy, Chef Piasecki? Uh, his team, how do you mind when creating the menus? There's still an option to get classics like cheese pizza, butter noodles, and chicken fingers. Uh, there are also plenty of options for those guests who have a dietary restriction. Okay, that, well, that's good. That's This is, like, becoming so increasingly important that um, it, it's, it would be wild for them to not have it. It would be, it would be really shocking. <clears throat> uh, if guests are hungry between meals, there are several food options available. The Sublight Lounge shares small bites and array of festive beverages. Yo, this is sick. Uh, with or without alcohol, such as the Hoth Icebreaker, Cloud of Bespin, and Dagobah Vimlet. Like a gimlet? Served also assist... Sir... Man. Uh, servers also assist guests sitting right outside the lounge in the atrium area. Food and beverages uh, items available from the sub lounge are available for an additional cost. There's a snacks area uh, that does have offerings to guests. Uh, dinner dessert at Star Wars. Okay. Doesn't tell me what it is, though. That's gorgeous. That's really pretty. I wish I could make cute plates like this. But like every time I try to do like fancy artsy plating, it just looks like it's just a hot mess. Uh, on the second evening of the voyage after dinner, the crew hosts a sweets and treats event in the Crown of Corelli dining room. Guests can help themselves to ice cream, cookies, and other goodies. You won't be enjoying breakfast in bed as in-room dining isn't an option. However, Chef Piasecki said the culinary team is continuously looking at ways to expand. I don't know how that would really affect the food team. I guess a dishwasher, like extra dishes. We will always continue to evolve as a lot of it will be based on what planets we visit in the future. Oh, that's cool. That's cool though. I that'd be so cool to be hired by Disney to design to design dishes surrounding Star Wars planets and stuff. That would be that's like that's the dream. That's the dream right there. I want to do that. How do I get hired to do that? That sounds rad.